Welcome to the overview of doing e-marketing as a purely theoretical conceptual exercise. In this approach, what you'll be doing is taking on the subject as a series of three essay tasks with some accompanying online reading, videos, a PDF-based textbook, and a lot of journal articles. So, if this sounds of interest to you, and for whatever reason you either do not want to do a practical exercise in e-marketing or for work purposes, work reasons, you're not permitted to have social media accounts or you just simply don't like the idea of having to set up a social media presence for 13 weeks, you have a choice. If you make this choice, you go down the theory path, you can't swap back to the practice path after the first assessment has been submitted. Now, if the theory path doesn't appeal to you, if three essays on e-marketing isn't your thing, don't take the theory path. Neither theory nor practice is easier than the other. Neither is harder than the other. Some may find a best fit in theory, some may find a best fit in practice. That is all up to you, but don't pick a path thinking that oh, this is definitely the easy option because that path, whenever you think it's going to be easy, it's always going to turn into a trap. So, step one, accept your choice. If you're coming down the theory path, you're doing three essays and this is how your semester's going to go. Second part is you're going to need to do research, you're going to need to be reading, you're going to need to be getting into Google Scholar, getting into the literature. All three assignment topics are available now. This video and its accompanying slide deck have the questions for all the assignments. The due dates are known. The caveat here is that Assessment Submission 2 and Assessment Submission 3 do not appear on Wattle until Assessment 1 has been submitted and again Assessment 3 doesn't appear until Assessment 2 has been submitted. So you can't submit in advance until you have had your first paper marked and fed back to you, your second paper marked and fed back to you. So there is a built-in compulsory feedback loop of marks must be returned to you before the next assignment opens up to be submitted. However, you have the assignment topics here and now so you can get started. You can have all three written and just tune them up and get them ready for submission. But basically, once you pick your side, your assignment boxes will open up and that's it, you're committed to your path. So let's talk your three assignments through. Topic number one, this is a, a bit of a classic in terms of requiring you to think about how e-marketing operates. Should e-marketing be a strategic method or is it a tactical method? So your topics on the screen, actually depth in your detail. So let's talk through a couple of your expectations. Let's hit some of your frequently asked questions up front. On your technical specifications, Essay or report style, headers or no headers, I know it's one of the most common questions I get asked and it's always the answer, go to your strengths. If you write a good essay, write a good essay. If you love a good report style with subheadings, go down that path. Any referencing format, so long as it's consistent and used. You have to reference, this is a theory stream. You are going to be expected to use academic articles, you're going to need to use the literature, you're going to need to spend some time downloading PDF files and reading them and taking notes and drawing out the ideas and synthesizing those ideas because that's what this stream is about and that's what makes it awesome. So this is about going, I want to learn from what has been written and I want to come up with an answer that's mine based on my interpretation of what already has been written and your, this is what I'm really excited about is seeing how you can extend 
existing ideas and apply them and use them so I can get your take on this question. So you've got to use referencing. It's compulsory. It's absolutely. But it's A and U. You should be ready to do this anyway. Your word length, 2,000 words, plus or minus 10% house rules in effect. Don't go under, don't go over. If you find you can't produce 1,800 words comfortably on this, you haven't gone into enough depth. You've missed, you're skimming the surface. If you're punching past two and a half, you're punching past 2,000 words, and you start heading up to two and a half thousand, and you still haven't finished, your focus is off. You haven't got a really clear picture. You are stream of conscience writing at this point, so maybe it works for you. Maybe you get 3,000 words down, edit it back. But however it plays, you've got to bring me 2,000 plus minus 10% for your word count. Now the question, all right, let's, have a, let's break this down for a second. Should it be used as a strategic method to meet long-term business objectives? Or is it best suited to the implementation of short-term tactical solutions? Now it comes with the, uh, the trigger word discuss, which means having seen this as your dialogue option, you have to engage the question, you have to pick a side, and you have to come to a conclusion. Now, it's an or question. So that means I want there to be a side. I want there to be a thesis, an argument, a development of a position, and then a delivery of this is what the outcome is. What's important for you to understand is that I don't hold a position. I don't have a preset my preferred position here. I am asking this question to see how you approach the answer and what you make, whether you think it's strategic or whether you think it's tactical, and what support you bring to the party and to your assignment as to why your position is the way that you want to approach. So your expectations up front, you gotta pick a side. You need to be discussing a bunch of key ideas. So these are sorts of the content areas I want to see you thinking about, researching, discussing, looking at. I'm also keen to see a conclusion. I want to know on the introduction, that introductory paragraph tells me what the answer is and the conclusion tells me what the answer is. I want there to be spoilers throughout this whole document. I do not want any surprises, no plot twists, no sudden reveals. Write me an assignment that lays out your case, presents your evidence, and makes a clear conclusion as to where your position is. So, first assignment lays you out a classic question. Second assignment, slightly heavier, uh, you see a 40%, so a bit more of an emphasis uh, here. In your first assignment, you will receive feedback that will be guiding you towards implementing that feedback in this 40% task. So if you think about it this way, you should be versed in assignment writing by now. This 30 percenter leads you, gives you feedback, and the feedback will be useful to make this 40 percent count. And I mean really count. Good use of the feedback and building on what I've, the advice I've provided to you can really give you a solid grade foundation here. See questions on the screen? Now this one is asking you to do a few things. It's a it's a big question because it's the big assessment waiting. So let's talk technical specs. Again, same deal as before, essay or report, any referencing. This one's going to need referencing. You've got a lot of opportunity, but you've also got some very specific things that you need to be talking about, and to do that, you're going to want to be reading. You're going to want to be referencing. You're also going to want to be drawing outside of e-marketing and drawing into the marketing you've studied elsewhere. So if you've done strategy or you've done intro, you've done CV, there are options left, right and centre to draw on your other existing marketing knowledge. Word length count, 3,000 plus or minus. A 3,000 word is actually a quite different beast to a 2,000. Uh, when you Punching to the 3,000 word mark, you are really being given the opportunity to go into some depth. Those extra 1,000 words make a huge difference. 
So in your 2000 motor, you want it to be fast, tight. 3000 motor, you want to be getting into some detail and some specifics. So let's talk technicality. You must discuss this quote. If you don't discuss the quote, and the quote was written for this assessment task, you're not going to perform well. Now the thing is that this quote is giving you a framework. The whole idea of e-advertising and calling it e-marketing. It's yours to interpret, yours to use, but if you don't use it, you can't answer the question properly, and this is 40%, and you don't want to be making a big tactical, technical error on the outset. So you've got to use the quote, you've got to ensure that your answer is influenced by the quote. In terms of within the essay, there are two component parts within there. They are not 20% each. Start with the quote exists. So that don't start trying to think that oh, it's 20%, 2,000 words here, 2,000 words there. Don't game it. When you write this essay, the first thing you are going to be addressing when you are writing it is you're going to tell me your story about what the problems are. So if e-marketing practice conflates e-marketing and e-advertising, what problem does that create? When that problem has been identified by you and you've written what the your specifications, what the problem happens to be, you've got to solve that problem. Or rather, you've got to show me how marketing planning could solve that problem. You don't necessarily have to solve the problem. It might be one of those big uh, impossible problems where you can go and say, look, if e-marketers perform as e-advertising, then problem X arises, and problem X isn't going to be solved in 2,500 words. But if you use planning, planning can cut down the number of places where A, B, and C lead to problem X. So you want to be arguing a case of what is the problem, how can the problem be removed, reduced, resolved through the use of marketing planning to ensure that the marketing mix is in place. So you set up your scenario and then you tell me about how your scenario can be resolved with your planning. And that's your key. Give me your scenario, give me your scena how your scenario gets resolved. The other thing, uh, heads up, as soon as you say marketing mix, and I know there's a bunch of people out there who are going to want to just go, I could write a thing about the marketing mix. Yeah, you could, but it'll, you'll do badly and you won't get very many points. And there's lots of points to take here. And you can practically pass the subject 40%, a good showing here in the high 30s means that you're most of the way over the line on a single assessment task. So you want to really get this right. So your key is, give me, tell me what the problems are, show me how planning can assist resolving that problem by integrating the rest of the mix. So naturally you're going to have to talk about planning. If you weren't planning, if you had no intentions of talking about planning, you weren't planning on planning planning and planning, it's going to go wrong for you. And I don't want that. I don't want it to go wrong for you. It's no fun for me if I have to take marks off you because you didn't stick to some clearly laid out expectations given to you at the start of semester. So work with me here, all right? The other thing about this paper is it's a theory and practice operation in terms of I'm not expecting you to conduct practice and conduct theory, I'm expecting you to reference. I'm expecting you to look at this in terms of if you are going to answer a question that very specifically mentions industry practitioners conflating e-advertising, you kind of want to mention things for practitioners. So you've got to be thinking about that side. You get access to an enormous amount of information, it's the internet, it's huge, stuff's there. It is a complicated task and it is a difficult assignment because it's worth the most. It's the biggest thing you're going to do this semester for this subject, it's 40 points, it's 3,000 words, it's meant to be 
complicated, it's meant to be complex, but it's also meant to be a challenge that you are able to rise above. You can do this, and you're going to be trained to do this, and you're going to get some practice in doing this, but you've got to take it seriously and look at it and go, yeah, this is going to be, I'm going to have to put some yards in for this. All right, your last essay topic, hype or hope? This one, 30% again, because that's what you got points left. I do love this particular topic area. It's one of my favorite ones to set in e-marketing as an assessment task. Comes with a big, heavy-ended question to get you started. But what you're looking at here is, across the course of the semester, those students who are doing the practice practical strain will be using a set of e-marketing technologies. What you are being asked to do in this final assessment task is talk about an e-marketing technology that's been discussed across the course. That can be Instagram, Facebook, Tumblr, Twitter, LinkedIn, YouTube, Vivo, Xbox One, Xbox Live. There are, well, it's even before we get into the mobile phones, we still have before we start talking about iTunes, Apple TV, Netflix, all of these things exist. And every now and then, someone produces a new thing, like Kick or a broadcasting service that will only allow you three words to send your message because 140 characters on Twitter was too long for attention spans. And a marketer will come along and say, this is the new thing for marketing. Your job here, this assessment task for 30 points and to conclude your semester, is to decide whether in fact this technology is actually useful. Is it going to help marketing practice or is it just hype? So tech specs on this one, you may notice the theme, but basically it comes down to is references are needed. You need a lot more reference you're probably going to be using a lot more footnoting because you're going to have a lot more URLs this time. You're going to be talking about a technology that exists on the internet, so there'll be URLs. Usual drill, 20%, the 10% plus minus 2,000 words. Again, same thing. If it's running short, it's, run, it's going wrong. It's a twin question. Discrepancy between intent and applications. So you're going to talk about can it coexist? And you're going to conclude, does the coexisting take place? Because the technology is a new thing for marketing, or it doesn't coexist because the technology does not, it's not a marketing platform. Now, these questions were built for the assessment task. They're, again, same thing. The uh, quote materials and the discussion materials in there are custom for the assessment task. So you don't have to footnote those bits, and they don't exist anywhere else. There's no, what's the source, what's the, the quote? Me, I wrote the questions. But you don't need to um, quote the question in there. You need to address the question. In terms of your requirements, look, it breaks down a little something like this. Tell me about the technology. What is it? What does it do? What does it do for marketing? And this is a key thing here, is that you are getting drawn into a business-to-business -business assessment task that is asking you to say, what is the value for marketers? What's the merit? What do they do? How do they do it? Does it work? It's not a SWOT analysis, but you can use a SWOT analysis to build up your case to make your assignment easier. And then give me a conclusion. This thing's going to have to end one way or the other. You're going to tell me it's a new awakening, it's an awakening for marketing practice, or it's just new hype. I'm not kidding, you've got to conclude it. You have to give me a conclusion. And I would like to see this time the opening question of the discrepancy between intent and application. I'd like to see that as the conclusion. I want to see a paragraph telling me where you see, can marketers use it? Is it a platform that's supposed to be useful for marketers? So those theory stream, those are your three assessment tasks. You got any questions? Usual deal, connect over email, contact me on Twitter, 
tweet about it with a hashtag or come see me in my office, book a consultation time, come visit. Basically, your, th your theory stream, you don't have to make stuff for the internet, you've just got to write about other people using the internet and doing stuff with it.